I am honest with you, this will not be my typical 600 or less calorie dinner because, well, it's pork belly. But 750, not that bad, right? And if we just have it once in a while, it's totally worth it. Rice go perfectly with the pork belly, so I'm starting a pot of rice here. Now pan on medium heat, medium low if your stove heats up quick, some oil, some sugar. We are caramelizing the sugar. This is where the beautiful colors come from. While preparing the dress, make sure to keep an eye on the stove. It can burn fairly quickly. Some green onion. I'm setting the white part aside for now. I like to split those big part in half before dicing. It's just a personal preference, so you don't have to. Now we dice some hot Thai chili pepper. I'm using just two, so it will just add a tiny bit of heat and chili pepper flavor. If you like it really hot, try at least double of this. These pepper freeze very well, so when you have a big pack from an Asian store, just keep them in the freezer and use as needed. Now I always want to remind you that when handling hot pepper, minimize touching the inside and wash your hands with soap afterward. I really, really don't want anyone to experience the hot, spicy fingers sensation. Next, we mix garlic and shallot. Everybody knows garlic, so we skip talking about it. On the other hand, if you don't have shallots, substitute it with onion. They're both in the same family, it's just that shallot is sweeter and has a more subtle allium flavor. Shallot is used a lot in Vietnamese cooking. Most popular use a fried shallot as topping for many dishes. Transfer both to the pan. You see, the sugar gets caramelized perfectly just at the right time. After stirring, we move on to our last but most important ingredient, our pork belly. We just slice it into bite-sized pieces. I bought these from same club. They have the best price here in Louisville. And these are pre-cut into thin strips like this that make it even easier for us to slice. And to my personal preference, this has no skin. Yay! However, if skin is what you're into, visit an Asian store and get a full piece of pork belly with skin intact. <laughs> Sunny has been with me here the entire time. What a sweet girl she is. Pork in. Well, I need to wash my drawer dirty porky hands before stirring and seeing I'm at the sink. Why not washing the cutting board and the knife now so that way I have an easy time after the meal. Efficiency is always my key to an enjoyable cooking experience. Now the easiest part is from here. Start the pork to mix with the dress, we then spread the pork out and let it cook until the bottom side turns brown that will develop more flavors for our dish. Now we increase heat to medium high to speed things up just a little bit, but be sure to adjust accordingly to your specific stove. It takes about 4 to 5 minutes for the bottom to brown. Once it stirs, we add our seasoning, which is just 4 simple ingredients. The only note I have here for you is that I'm using Viet Hoon, the three crafts brand for the fish sauce. Myself and my family used other brands before and we all agreed that this fish sauce is the best. You can get it from Amazon or Asian store. Stir up. Reduce it back to medium low, let it simmer and stir occasionally until thickened. At some point, we will add in half of the chopped Thai chili pepper. Continue to simmer. Almost done, so I'm getting my dry ready. I can't wait to dig in. Just dry right before removing from heat, we add half of the diced green onion. Heat helps activate the flavor. The rest of the Thai pepper and green onion will be used when serving. 
Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. This recipe makes thick serving, so perfect for meal prepping. I will have a video about it coming very soon. A typical Vietnamese meal or dinner also must have vegetables. It's the main reason why Vietnam has the lowest obesity rate in the whole world. Right here, I have Vietnamese style instant kimchi. It can be made in less than 30 minutes and store well 7 days in your fridge. I have a recipe for it if you'd like to check it out. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. A like, comment, or sharing of my video will help out my small channel. I appreciate that. Thanks so much again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.